All right, how are you all doing? Uh, as you can see, I've got a few new models since uh, last time I made a video. I haven't made a video in a wee while at the moment. I'm not busy. I, I don't know what happens each day. I'm, I've got much to do. I don't have time to scratch my own back. Never mind start to make a video for YouTube. So <laughs> I've actually bought uh, uh, five new ones there recently hello uh, I, I, <laughs> and I have actually started to sell quite a few models too uh, sold a couple of BMWs I had I had sold the two-week Caterhams Solido Caterhams Renault Twingo I sold uh, I sold the Ford Focus and, and the Ford Escort and and a uh, Ford Capri, <laughs> but, uh, and particularly, in particular, I got very good money for the Fords, which, uh, which is all right. Like it's a uh, oh, I like all cars. I like cars of all descriptions, all manufacturers, all years. I don't, I'm not say uh, I'm not one of these boys will argue, but modern cars are better, or old cars are better. They're all better in their own ways. Uh, if, They've all got something that's good about them. As modern cars are good for their reliability and their the build quality, but they're also very expensive to maintain. And when things go wrong, it, it can be financial turmoil. Where if you've an old nineties Toyota Carina, it's not worth a lot of money, and it's old, but it'll go forever. And and for if, and very little will go wrong and if anything goes wrong you you, you can fix it cheaply or just buy another one <laughs> you know it's the benefits of old cars so i i like cars of all descriptions and uh uh but one in particular is japanese as i do sway so i've decided to move my model collection more japanese I do have a wee thing for Ital Italian cars too, so I've decided I'll keep my, al my Alphas and my Fates and have a, just a, a wee break for, away from the, the Japanese, I'll, have a, I'll keep Italian. Or everybody, I, I'm on numerous Facebook groups and everybody collects Fords. Uh, everybody collects Fords. And, and I thought, <laughs> uh, well... That's a bit different. This is this is what I like. Uh, but uh, maybe talk. I've always wanted to have a, an ignition model, and this is, like I've got this here maybe for three weeks, and it's still not even out of the box. So that's how, like, <laughs> busy I've been. <laughs> I'm I'm working night shifts at the moment, and I'm working all night. And then you you get home and you have to, you have to stay quiet. On the, on the kids are up and then when the kids are up then I need to get to bed <laughs> to be rested for my work and, and I just don't I just don't have time for uh, having the time so I've got a couple of hours here and then I have to go to work again so uh, I might actually get this out of the box and have a have a look at it and uh, a few other ones as uh, we I used to have an MX-5 in real life in this colour, so I really wanted to have one. Uh, mine was actually a, a Japanese import that was a, the, the Unis Roadster, the, the one I had in real life in this colour. Uh, this is a, I hope I say it right, Koshko <laughs> model. Uh, it's a very old model and I, I picked it up through Mini, Mini Merc. It's a, a wee trader based in England uh, and then you may notice there's a series of modifications I've made to it like uh, the seats uh, the wee bride brid seats and uh, the wee front lip well, I've added the wheels and stuff but the uh, TK die, die cast is responsible for those seats and I painted them and put the wee Harnesses, those wee harnesses and stuff were very fiddly, but 
they look good now <laughs> what they're they're done and there's a wee rib seats it was like a wee fabric decal one thing i would warn if you buy that wee fabric decal is to be very careful with water i happened to stick on the wee water slide decals after i did put on the brid uh fabric and i dripped a wee bit of water onto the fabric which left a stain well <laughs> perhaps there may be a stained seat in a mx5 is a wee bit more realistic <laughs> but uh yeah, uh, if you happen, these look really, really good. But if you happen to buy them and you put them together, and you want to put on the the wee decals, do that first before you put on the 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 brid, uh, the fabric pattern because it's yeah. I was a wee bit cross myself for doing that, but well, lesson. That's a lesson. Uh, the other one I picked up is this. Uh, I, I wanted to have one of these. It's, an, it's, a, like, it's not a Japanese car, but it's got a big Japanese theme from the the RWB. It's a Ron Wilt. <laughs> He's a Japanese guy that travels all over the world. And he specializes in Porsches and making the body kits and stuff for Porsches. You can watch some of his videos on YouTube. If you type into YouTube the RWB build, you'll bring up, you'll see some videos of some of his builds. Amazing car, car builder and just craftsman. And he is a great man to watch it works. So, that, yes, a Porsche is not a Japanese car, but it does this. Uh, it is a Japanese build. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I got, I got, I got, I'll allow that into the collection. Uh, the other one, yes, is, is from Otto. Uh, you can see there, this actually started off as one of the mines, R33s. But uh, all the decals has been removed, and it's had uh, the wheels replaced with some wheels from a 400R skyline. Uh, I think it's nice. Uh, yes, the mines builds incredible cars in real life, but I thought it was nice that uh, just to make it look like an ordinary road car. And I got those wee uh, number plates, Japanese sort of style number plates, what I was stuck on from uh, all scale diorama. All scale diorama, you'll find him on Facebook. It's a guy, Sean Winterbottom, uh, makes some really cool diorama stuff. Again, this doesn't come like this. I got this from Faz Diecast. Uh, it's a triple nine collection Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. But uh, again, this hasn't came like this. I've Added this wee exhaust and added a set of wheels. Uh, I've added the wee number plates from All Scale Diorama and uh, or, or put on that wee front lip which was from TK Diecast. They actually made that wee lip for an uh, art model, but uh, that, that fits the Triple Nine collection model just as well. And I, I will, I'm trying to see, kind of sort out a wee set of front f fender flares for this. I don't like what well, it's got rear fender flares and it doesn't have front fender flares. I don't know why Triple Nine has made it like that. But uh, I'm going to try and sort that out. Anyway. Well, I'll make you get this ignition model finally out of the box and have a look at it. So, yeah, straight away you can see the quality in the ignition model. It's the first ignition model. I've always admired them. i looked at plenty of pictures of them <laughs> daydreaming, but I've never actually bought one myself. They're quite expensive. And that's why are they expensive? Well, these other models. Well, I think so. I think they're lo they're lovely models now. 
I did have to spend a wee bit of time on them uh, to make it look like that I'm not quite finished with that yet and I had to spend quite a lot of time on that Costco model with the GT Spirit that's the way it is out of the box but uh, yeah the ignition model straight out of the box is how you want it ignition does offer a range of variations in these Vilfires and with all their different models you get this one white or black or red tail lights or clear tail lights or gold wheels and diff black wheels and I know it's <laughs> they're, they're, it's sometimes it's hard to find the one, the one what you really like specifically but this one came up it was reasonable money still expensive enough it's the most expensive model I've ever bought I have a thing for the sort of GDM vans and MPVs I think they're really really cool the Japanese do love to modify everything including their their big family mobiles and I, <laughs> I do have a Toyota Hyus but I imported from Japan a, a real one and I was modified and stuff in Japan I'll maybe click on a wee photo of it here <laughs> And but uh, ignition, C could you please make a highest? <laughs> that's no, that's nice few wee additions to the collection. All on the the Japanese theme. Uh, I do have that TRD Auto Toyota Supra. Uh, I changed the wheels and stuff on, put endless brakes on it, and again that's from Triple Nine Collection at Honda Civic EF, it's one of my favourites, and a new one to the collection, and it's one of my favourites now too is that Toyota Celica GT4. I think them wheels on it and the wee plates and stuff, so that's that, that now looks really really good. But again, that's where you have to do those things. Where the, the ignition model out of the box, it's how you would like it. It has the body kit, it has the wheels, and it's slower than. And not to mention the quality of the paint. The quality of the paint would be better than the quality of the paint on many of real car. Yeah, that's one I'm very happy with. And I'll let me say on that quickly. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Uh, one, just one thing I would like some model manufacturer to give me some Suzuki's. I need a Suzuki Swift GTA, a Suzuki Cappuccino, an Ignis Sport. Uh, why no Suzuki's? <laughs>